In today's video, I'm gonna take you on a tour of my $30 a night apartment here in Budapest, Hungary. <laughs> What is going on YouTube? I've spent the last four days in Budapest, Hungary, and it's been pretty awesome. I went to thermal baths, I've explored the city, went to Christmas markets, it's been pretty amazing. I actually lost my wallet here, so I had to deal with all the things you have to deal with when you lose a wallet and credit cards and IDs and stuff. But other than that, <laughs> Budapest has been perfect and one of like the places I'm definitely gonna spend some time but I'm gonna take you on an apartment tour today of the apartment I got here. It's only $30 a night. It's at a place called Amber Garden View Apartments. And uh, it's just pretty cool and quirky. Okay, so let me take you there. I'm in this really cool neighborhood. Okay, I know it looks a little sketch right now, <laughs> but to be honest with you, it's not. This is the little garden area before you go in. Kind of cool. And this is the door inside. Okay, so this is my apartment door. And as you walk in, you can see this place is pretty colorful. But we'll start off with the bathroom here first. Have a nice stand-up shower, which is perfect for me. I'm a shower guy, so that's all I really need. Normal toilet, got this nice little touch over here, the little air fresher, and then we've got the sink. It's actually really well laid out, even though it's a small place. Um, there's something to be said about a good layout. All right, so let the color begin. So you got this blue door, you got this first splash of crazy color, and you've got a nice little coat rack here. And as you walk in, I'll go ahead and point the camera up so you can see this. There are a couple of chandeliers on the ceiling, um, <laughs> which are very colorful. And then a couple of colorful wall sconces and then some colorful wall art. So the room is pretty narrow, but it's big enough to fit like a queen to king size bed. So I'll take you back to the bedroom here real quick. So just your normal bed with nightstands and, uh, and lights works well for me. Again, you've got all this color over here. You've got this big window. I'm on the first floor, so it looks out into Budapest and we're in a really cool neighborhood in Budapest. I'll kind of give you a, just a quick glimpse of it. So yeah, as you can see, pretty cool. And then we'll go ahead and turn around here. As you can see, there's a TV mounted here. And then over there in the back left, behind the desk area, is a little kitchen. Now, I don't cook much, but I do go and buy stuff at the grocery store. And what's great about renting a place like this, an apartment over a hotel, is usually they're set up where you can do things that you wouldn't normally be able to do in a hotel. So like this one has this two burner, stove here it's electric you have a microwave i drink a lot of tea they have a water boiler it's set up with all the plates and dishes i need pans if i need it you have a sink and then down here got all the utensils and a refrigerator which i use a lot when i'm in a place like this and this place even has a dishwasher so yeah there's also a really cool wardrobe here, closet type thing. And look, there's some Unba Moreno. <laughs> but yeah, and then this little desk here. Uh, just a really cool apartment for $30 a night. I'm sure you can get it cheaper if you stay long term. You just have to probably work that out with the desk. But yeah, it's colorful. It's kind of wacky and crazy but uh, really cool at the same time. Nice, bright, and airy, and just funky in a good way. Okay, so that was my apartment tour here in Budapest. I really wanted to check this place out to see if it's somewhere I'll live in the future, 
and so far I'm really enjoying it. After this, I head to Lisbon, Portugal, and I'm really excited about that city as well. It's probably the city I was most excited about on the remote year itinerary, so I'm looking forward to that. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It helps most people find it. And if you're not a subscriber, I make weekly travel videos to hopefully inspire people to travel more. So if that kind of content interests you, please hit that subscribe button. And if you hit the notification bell, it'll let you know when I put out videos every week. Thanks for watching.